you know, you've got Damien Martin throwing himself onto the floor for loose balls, grabbing offensive rebounds, and Craig high fighting and it just went through the team. They, they, they never quit, did they? Yeah, we probably should have got beaten by double figures out there pretty easy with the... We had a lot of looks and just the, the ball wouldn't go in um, today for us. But, uh, yeah, our energy and our spirit is, you know, that's not compromised at everything that we do, but we certainly had the effort intensity out there. We're probably in the second quarter that we we lost it a little bit. I probably should have had a timeout earlier just to settle the ship. But, um, yeah, we let them run out and they got some... Easy transition points, got to the foul line and got it out to 10 points. So, yeah, disappointing for that second quarter, but um, we'll learn from it and move on. But that standard that you guys set as a franchise, mm. I mean, you, you kind of lost that a little bit last year. I think it's fair to mm. say, particularly at the back end of the season. Did you feel like you're getting back to, you know, the, the standard that you guys have set? Yeah, and we're really big on chemistry. You know, we've got some really good guys this year on the team that work hard for each other and play the right way. and. We'll take a less talented guy to make sure he's a good fit for our organisation and we're pretty happy with the team that we got the guys are playing right. Uh, obviously hurt at the moment for, for that game and, and it's a game that we, we could have done a little bit better in. But um, overall it's a, it'll be a good learning experience for us and um, hopefully you know we won't let those things happen again. How close did Bryce come to play tonight Trevor and will he be right for the next game? Don't know. Um, we were hopeful he's come up. It, it was, uh, you know, he's lucky not to have surgery on it, which would have put him out for six to eight weeks. So we're hopeful he'll be back on. It's just being comfortable with the ball in his hand, and obviously it's his uh, shooting hand. So um, you don't want to get out there where he's a bit timid with there. He's got to be really comfortable with it. Do you feel like you, you could have got him capable for a little bit? Mm. He was certainly pretty efficient, and you know when he got the ball down the stretch, I mean, he, he obviously came through for you. Yeah, when we started to move the ball, and Nick just finds the, the um, gets to the right spot, yeah. so he gets himself um, valuable out there, and we're moving the ball, and I think in the first half, we are particularly moving the ball, everybody wanted to do one on five kind of stuff, and that's not Wildcats basketball, so we did a much better job in the second half, and, um, you know, Nick's just a workhorse, he's... You know, he's fantastic out there when you're right, we've got to get him the ball a little bit more. I mean, Damo coming back obviously mm. would have been a positive for you and he um, obviously did a fish. Pretty good job there in trying to shut Randall down. And yes. That's far away his lowest score of the season. I know it's a team effort, but obviously he's so instrumental in that. Yeah, look, and he probably, I don't know how many minutes he played, he probably played a little bit more than what we were, what we thought first game back for, what, five weeks, so. But Mitch got banged up, he got injured in the Boomers game on Monday night, so he couldn't play fully and we were kind of struggling at the point guard position. So Damo played a little bit more. We played Tariko at the point guard as well, and especially with Bryce out, it put us under a little bit of pressure. So, But, you know, you got to love Damo, don't you? When it's all said and done, he's going to have a statue in probably every state, in the, uh, certainly in Perth. But uh, he just plays with so much passion and intensity out there, and he does all the... In intangible stuff that doesn't come up on a stat sheet. It's the deflections, it's the leadership, it's the just the level he plays at, you know, and he certainly, um, you know, he's going to go down as one of the best players ever from the NBL. What about Angus Brandt? I mean, mm. he's, he's obviously been, it's been a slow process for recovery for him. Yeah. Were, were you encouraged by what you saw out there tonight? It seemed like he was moving pretty well. Yeah, and that's the same thing. You know, he played limited minutes last week. You know, we were lucky to get him up for that uh, New Zealand game and mm. this is the first game that he could actually get out there and play a little bit of freedom. So, yeah, as we get our guys comfortable and coming back through injury, we get Damo back fully healthy, hopefully very soon, and Gus, and hopefully we'll get Bryce back. And I don't think we've had a full team since the start of October. So it's, it's exciting, that part. And then the guys have been stepping up, you know, like Nick and Clint and Greg and, and um, you know, they've been doing a great job. So hopefully we can get back healthy here for a little bit. And what happened uh, between you and uh, Mr. Bogut in that little... Uh, uh, just a little bit of love tap. <laughs> I tried to run a play and his big buff head got in there and tried to listen. So I said, get out for a little bit. And then, then he grabbed me. So I was trying to milk it, see if I could get something out of it. But I think Bogut's a good guy. Um, just, uh, just look ahead, Trevor. Yep. Um, Irrespective of whether you get Bryce back, uh, you, you still only lost your second game there. I mean, mm. 
Um, just looking at the schedule ahead between now and Christmas, obviously there's a few tough ones, there's no easy ones I guess in the NBL, but you you still feel that you're very much on course despite all the injuries that you've had? Yeah, we're, we're tracking pretty well. Yeah, it's uh, Look, we've got a couple of big games and then, uh, you know, we don't play at home for a month, so we know that's a big part, uh, those five or six games that we got away from Perth because of the tennis, so, um, you know, that'll dictate to where we where we sit and hopefully we're nice and healthy and uh, give them all a good shake. And your first close-up look at the Kings this year, do you, what are your feelings about them? Are they genuine contenders, do you think? What do you see? Well, they've got so many weapons, haven't they? They've got, uh, you know, Newell's played great tonight, I thought. Transition, defence and shooting the three and, you know, we keep Randall to the season low score and they've got Lish coming good at the end, they've got Newell, so they've got a lot of weapons out there. Get a question for Reese going, you got to ask him one. <laughs> Why'd you bring him in? <laughs> That's a $10,000 fine otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Reesey. Thanks, guys. Thanks.